All right, guys, last set of the day, and it's gonna be, of course, Pennywise. Nails. <sighs> We're using Supreme White. It's gonna be all white set. Of course, we're using my monomer again. These tips are the triple um, XL tips that I cut down to about a long length. Using my 16 brush. Okay, important thing about using white is very pigmented, so gotta be careful with that. Make sure you don't get that pigment into your monomer, okay? Take your time with it. Okay, don't rush it. I know a lot of you guys are like, ooh, he's using white cringe. I know. Cringe, cringe. Cringe indeed. I get you. I know exactly what you mean. But if you take your time, you would do it correctly. The white actually, especially Chisel's white is not really that pigmented, to be honest with you. Compared to other people's white, I think Chisel's white is actually not as pigmented. As in, like, it's not going to bleed all over the place. And there we go. How's everybody doing? Needing to get your nails done. Uh, I'm in Orlando. That marble. Yeah. It's a little bit runny, so make sure you watch your ratio. Don't use too much. Give yourself time to make adjustments. It's right. Perfect, perfect thickness, perfect apex for me. There you go. This is exactly how I like it. Just like that. Ah! Ah! Look at me, one idiot. Actually touch it with my finger. I'm trying to show you guys the side profile. I think it wasn't completely dry yet. I just remolded it. But here it is. Just like that. That's literally all you need, guys, for this length. Look at that. Enough apex. What would you pick me as a practice finger? Upcoming class. <laughs> Uh, what class are you in? Oh, you in the are you in the Cincinnati class? So I'm not gonna try to work this really wide away. I know it's a little bit more wetter than most, so I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit before I start moving the powder. All about control and timing. There's a time for everything, okay? Too bad actually. Um, could have been worse. I've have used worse whites. Put that marble a little bit before I reapply here. Hit the share button for me guys, appreciate that. You never know who can reach and can help. Just doing a nice two bead process, give myself a nice structure. Make sure everything's nice and clean so I don't have to do too much work later with the drilling and filing.
been hiatus from doing nails for almost like three weeks and I'm coming back with some white powder. Wow. Definitely wear it to prove it. Nice and clean though. I got this. Powder marbles, yeah, marbles. Gotta give it time. I don't wanna work with it when it's too wet. You know, it's gonna bleed, it's gonna pigment everything. I wish it was an easier way to use white powder, but this is pretty much what you gotta deal with, guys, when using white powder. So I recommend anytime you do any white sets, you can definitely, um, I recommend doing the um, set in acrylic or a nude or cover powder, and then go back through and um, use uh, white gel polish and just paint it. Actually, a lot easier, but this set specifically, I press the white powder, so we're gonna do white powder. Where is everybody watching from? I haven't asked that in a long time. Let's see what the community is watching from. It's a good way for me to gauge where I'm gonna do my next class. That's what I used to do back then. Ask me where they're watching from so I can know where to do my next class. Is it too hot? Mm -hmm. Is it hot? Colorado, I've been there. I was just talking about practicing their art for Halloween. Ugh. This is gonna be my first Pennywise set of the season, so please bear with me, guys. I didn't even practice with this yet. But I'm pretty sure I got it. Probably put Pennywise up on this. the cuticles there. Actually, not too bad. It's white. Actually, it was not that hard to work with. Nice and clean. Trina Dot, Jamaica, Fall Reason, Massachusetts, UK. It's nighttime in the UK right now, isn't it? So after this thumb, I'm gonna actually replace my monomer because the monomer is getting kind of dingy. <laughs> when your monomer gets contaminated, that's when it starts to get sticky, that's when it's hard to work with, okay? I'm actually. Surprised this white powder is not like bleeding or pigmenting all over the place. 
So I kind of really like how they mix this. It's pretty good, very nice consistency. Um, works really well with my uh, medium setting monomer, but um, generally the biggest test is black and white are one of the most gruesome colors to work with because they're so pigmented and it just bleeds and pig dyes everything. I don't like working with black sometimes because it dyes the cuticle area. Really annoying for me anyway. So I would rather prefer to just paint these colors instead of doing the actual color powder, but some sets you require to actually use the color powder, so. One, two, three, oh, marble, and then I don't know exactly what to put it on. Imagine it's a good beautiful area. Slim down. I can't wait to go to Cincinnati for my Cincinnati class. And my first time I'm gonna be up there, it's gonna be nice and fall. Okay, one hand down. I'd say that took me a little bit longer than I wanted to for one hand, probably 20 minutes there. Um, but I'm gonna clean my brush real quick. Cause one thing I know is white has a lot of pigment. It has like a lot of other stuff in there too. And I'm gonna start my next hand fresh. Just gonna clean this brush really nice. Seem like a lot of work, but do this, guys. It makes sense or you be able to do your job a little bit easier, okay? Just put enough that I need for my one next hand. And there we go. So instead of doing a big amount of monomer, I do half, half of each. And it gives me the ability to start fresh on each, each hand. Because the monomer, once it gets contaminated, especially with pigments, um, it, it works, starts getting sticky, and actually it makes more acrylic stick to your brush. This is pigment you're seeing, it's not acrylic. That white is pigment. Because white and black is very high pigment, it gets stuck to your brush, and then that drags other stuff on there. So it's very important to clean as you work. So a lot of you probably just pour a big thing of monomer and try to get the whole 10 fingers and you're like, ah, it's so sticky and it's not working well. Yeah, you know, I know how that feels, trust me. I've been there, done that. So I, I show you guys how to do this. You know, pour just enough for one hand, get fresh monomer for the second hand. You said gem gels use? Yes, I do. Um, hey, Jennifer, how are you feeling? Um, the gem gel I use is, is on my website. It's a, it should be on there. Um, it's actually really nice. It's a new one. It's not like the older one I had. It's, it's double the size. I double the size of what I had before. Hope you're feeling better. I know you have been feeling the weather. The, the gem glue that I have, that new one right now, is actually stronger than the one I used to have before. I had them reformulate. It's a little bit thicker and has some more adhesive property. Do I sell those metallic nail art pens? Metallic nail art pens. I'm trying to think of your talking about the chrome. You mean like the chrome pens where they rub the chrome on there? I don't like the chrome pens, but I'm gonna start having these uh, chrome palettes. But I gotta pick the colors too. There's, there's a lot of different type of chromes nowadays. The pens, I feel like it's, it's you can't control how much you use because when you squeeze that thing, it just comes out too much or. I don't know. Uh, I haven't used it before, but I've seen it new, so I, I like more of the, the, the makeup art palette type chrome better. 
This is the ones we use for our classes, um, to show designs in our classes. Um, in our, um, you know, the one, like in the one in Chicago we're gonna be teaching, that design class, it's gonna be um, Patino and Rina. this powder see I could just get enough powder out of that what I need a lot of people ask me hey you don't cap it I'm like no, this, I'm not gonna go through and do another layer of application Julia, how are you? All my old school students coming out here. Julia, are you working down in Fort Myers and a nail salon yet? If so, why not? You have your license now, so. Time to marble, and you know, you don't want to put it on too early when it's going to be too wet. It's going to bleed all over the place. What's up, Andy? How are you? Please, please come. Can I get some any fans here? <laughs> I was, you know, I was just talking to Wave Joe's um, owner. She was like, come to Connecticut for another a private class. I was like, ugh. Do I seriously gotta do it? Probably. Connecticut again. I didn't, haven't done my salon ready class there yet, so I guess I can still probably do that. in Arlington, Cincinnati for the month of well, Cincinnati next week, Arlington in October, then Chicago in October. Pretty much booked up. I'm probably gonna book something up for November. Cuticles nice and clean there. Oh, almost done. 
and everybody's waiting for the Pennywise design. We're just probably gonna go with the generic Pennywise face, balloons, floating, it logo. getting low but this is just enough for me to finish off this last finger here make sure I get rid of all this excess I kind of admit white is pretty hard to work with if you've never worked with white before I think this is like not something a beginner would have to work with or else I think a lot of beginners that use to work white the first time they're probably cry definitely not beginner friendly you have to really have a lot of control and work fast. Not as forgiving as nudes and cover of powders, unfortunately. I need like a deep clean after I'm done using this. There we go, we're done. Whew. Honestly, chisels white, not too bad. Supreme white, didn't have any issues with it bleeding too much and I didn't um, have any issues with it um, sticking to my brush too much either, like other brands I've used before. I've used like salon store, supply store bra brands before that used to happen. go brush nice and clean perfecto and we're gonna go right into shaping which is fairly easy as you know we've already shaped shape should be already there we just clean up the shape a little bit We got a little bit of hand filing too. Yes, guys. Look at that. You can't really complain. Will we hand paint everything? Yes, I usually hand paint everything. I don't do anything with stickers when it comes to um, artwork. Actually, I, I rarely use stickers. You probably never, guys never seen any of my work with stickers, rarely. Plus it's like butterflies, but even some butterflies I do by hand. I think hand painting gives it more. Underneath, ready excess. Bringing this in for nice coffin paper look. I don't want it too coffin because I do need a little bit surface area to put my designs. definitely stay awake for yeah I mean this client likes Halloween year-round so she just couldn't wait until August was over the moment she saw some foliage she's thinking Halloween already 
I'm already doing a Pennywise set in October, yeah, uh, in September. to die for crispy nice structure side profile it really didn't have to do that much shaping either where do you pay for the Arlington class you have to uh, peachy love you have to DM me sweetie I don't know, I think there's a few seats left in there um, Talk to Wave Gel, see if I can fit in my schedule to come on to CT again for a private slot ready course. I did promise I was gonna do some demo work for them and stuff too. My filers, Ugh. a lot of stock. So I've been using these filers at work, and they're not as good. They're just really soft. So it's taking me longer than it usually. I just realized my filers are actually the, sh the bomb. And I don't know how you guys feel when you guys use these cheaper filers. I think I pay extra for the more durable ones. Quickly go through, make sure nice and clean underneath the side walls. All the excess acrylic out. I'm gonna hand file. I'm gonna use a drill, clean the cuticle up, wash hands, and spend time doing designs, of course. soon so your friends that model and stuff that need sets Wendy hmm. I might start doing press on again soon so your press friends that, yeah your friends that model and stuff that don't live in the area yeah they can get some you should have people order them online that'd be a great idea yeah. a lot of people want to <laughs> trying to find time oh I like these tips Quick hand finally. Do you just use straight nail tips or? Um, I use straight nail tips when it comes to longer nails because um, if you use like a curved tips and you do the like a long nail, it's too curved for me. I don't like it. But if I do like a medium nail, like I use my natural tips. Um, with like, if I do anything medium and shorter, I don't waste my straight tips. I use a, a natural tip, which actually gives a nice structure. Um, natural tips have that slight curve. It gives you ability to build apex a little bit easier than straight tips. For those of you guys that are still new um, and you are still working on your apex ability and stuff like that, um, technique, uh, a natural tip will give that nice slight curve by the natural nails. So it'll, it'll, you'll be able to just do a nice application and it'll give, it'll give you the apex you need.
But anything medium to, and shorter, I would use um, a, a natural tip. I wouldn't waste a straight tip, just, just cut it down and it makes no sense. Straight tips usually generally use when you're doing long, and l longer than long, medium long to long to XL. It's good to have a different sets of tips on, on, on hand too, guys. I'll just be stuck with one type of tips. Certain sets you might not even require to use the tip. The thing about straight tips is it's aesthetically pleasing to do a long design sets with them. But a little bit harder because they're straight, so you have to actually build structure, or else it's too flat and it'll break. And that is where a lot of people run into issues. It's a little bit easier for me to do the length of the nails with a hand filer than if I were to use a um, drill because the drill bit is not big enough. This gives me a little to go through the whole nail. Because my application is a little bit smoother, so a little bit easier for me to go through. I don't know what it pains me is this filer, I think it's 100 by 180, not 100 by 100. It's going to take me a little bit longer here. After this, just cuticle work, and then we'll finish. We'll go right into the design portion. Dang, you're fast for this time. Is it? Yeah, you're going quick. I thought it was taking longer for some reason. Really? No, you're not. I think you're doing like 25 minutes a set. It's usually like 30. Probably. Everything's nice and smooth. I might math them just so I get the picture of them matted and then I'll talk about the math over for you. <laughs> this side will look good matted. Deal? Hmm? I'm math them first, and then I'm gonna get my pictures. Okay. Then I'll top coat it after that. That sounds good to me. Because I know you don't like it matted because it doesn't like, last as long, but. I set like this, matted. Ooh. I love the way it looks matted, but it doesn't I know. Last. Wow, look at that, guys. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh. Yeah, that's good. When she washes her hair, does she rinse the soap water? Um, I usually just rinse. You can wash it with soap if you want to, too. Really not that big of a deal. When I do art, it's not gonna be a lot of it. Unless you're painting the whole nail, I wouldn't recommend having them wash with soap. But sometimes soap leaves um, uh, a little bit of a oily residue because there's oils and soap. And that's why you have the issue. That's why a lot of nail types say, hey, don't wash it with soap, just rinse them. So yeah, have them rinse only. Because sometimes they don't clean it or wash it properly and they have some, uh, the residue left behind. Then like uh, polish and stuff and top coat might, be, might crinkle and a lot of stuff. That's why you go to nail salons and tell you don't use soap because, you know, clients, we don't trust them to wash their hands properly. This hand was actually a lot smoother than the other one. Good. I have more time to do my art later. 
If you're hand filing, make sure you move in a circular motion, okay? Don't stay in one spot too long because the hand filer is a flat surface and you want the nails to have an arch. If you stay in one spot too long, you can actually eat into the arch and it actually like, loses durability. You see how I'll start from the side and I'll bring it over to the middle and I go around the nail. I'm not staying in one spot long enough for it to eat into it, so I have a nice circular look, even though I'm using a flat surface. It's good to have, be able to tan, hand file. There's a lot of long sets you require to do hand file. There's no way you're able to use a drill bit and be able to get on the whole nail and make everything even. This would be quicker if I had my other 100 by 100 grip filer, but oof. Our last one. It's good that my application was smooth, so I don't really have to do a lot of work. If your application is a little bit thicker, then definitely use the drill bit, break it down a little bit before you hand file, because it would take you forever to hand file a thick nail. Okay. Now I use my trusty 501 cross cut bit, sharp. This is where we seal the cuticle with. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll buff that off later. <laughs> this is the cuticle work, y'all. This is where the lips come from, okay? Yep, you can spray alcohol. You can use acetone, a paper towel, and, and clean the, the surface too. Ah, and then they don't move. Sorry. You done? No, yeah. get, get it. Go ahead. No, you, you get what you need to get first. Because I will cut you. Alright, forget about it then. See the cuticle, it's almost like a ritual. You have to do this, guys. This ensures the lifts don't happen or minimal. Gives that nice flushness. So you can flush your cuticle area and nail pictures. So all the haters can just zoom in on your cuticles all they want. <laughs> just kidding. See, I don't have to do the whole nail because I don't really have to because the whole nail already has been hand filing, so that's how I do cuticle. Oops, sorry, I'm out of frame there. Not centered, yes, a little bit out of frame. I use a sharp bit because the edge is sharp. I'm going to get right between the, the cuticle and the acrylic. Clean out any excess in there. Give myself a nice flush cuticle work. This is literally 99% of why nails lift this part here, guys. I guarantee you, if you get this down, you don't have to use primer or any of that behind your good prep, good cuticle work, seal everything in. This drill bit is life. I customize this drill bit to work this way. The, the way it's grit, the way it's cross diamond, runs smoothly. Doesn't really eat into the acrylic, kind of smooths it out and clears it out. Just like that. Am I, am I off center? I have to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's just very so so nice. I mean, when you get that nice sharp bit running at the right speed, go right through the cuticle area, just like that.
those of you guys that are new, you can definitely use a safety bit. Of course, the safety bit is not going to be that clean cuticle work like this because the safety bit is going to be more cambered on the edges. So it actually removes more acrylic when you go into the cuticle like this, so you have more of a gap. But not too bad, unless you don't put too much pressure down on it. That's why I like using a, a, a sharp bit. You actually risk chance of cutting, but everybody gets cut at some point. So you get that nice cuticle area. When I retire, the world will miss me dearly. Uh, I know. I've been in it too long. I'm trying to raise the next generation of nail tech to take over. All you guys are out here should be getting the, you know, getting your skill up. Next five, ten years, you should be doing the same thing I'm doing. I have, some of my students are already providing classes, guys. I have students opening nail salons. I have students, you know, teaching classes. I have students doing everything. I'm just trying to pass down my legacy. Don't worry. I miss more of me. I want to make more of me. Okay, I'm going to clean up underneath. There's excess. I think that my proudest moments when I, I go cut the red, the red ribbon, the red tape for my student salon. I found one of my proudest moments. I can't wait for it. Her salon's almost open. Maybe, but maybe by next year it'll be open. I still remember talking to her about it in class. Look at that. There we go, one hand down. Shh. Can't complain. Miss watching your nail lives, it works so well. I know, I've been taking a break from doing nails for the last couple, almost a month. Um, I blocked out my schedule and just, the kids are back in school, helping my wife out, taking care of the kids at home now. Because my wife's full time, she's finished up her medical program, so I want to make sure she's focused. So I'm like, a, I went from nail dad to, to stay at home dad for a month here. But I'm definitely gonna weed myself back into working again, doing more lives, open up my books for more clients, I can show you guys more lives. I still try to stay consistent with the Q&As at night, though, for those of you guys that ask questions. 10 Eastern time, I, I go live and answer questions and stuff like that. There's actually see a lot of people that benefit from the Q&As. I've probably done over hundreds of them. Every time I do it, there's always one new person in there benefiting from it, so. Can't stop. Keyboard is so important, especially with white. Make sure you don't over drill, because white is not forgiving. If you over drill the cuticle area and it exposes light spots, white will just show up on that. Satisfying thing about doing nails. People think it's application, no, it's cuticle work. You're getting through this cuticle and you just clean it out nice and clean, you just feel it. That's satisfying. and then design time.
ลับอันนี้ Ooh, a lot of excess under there. Don't worry, we got it. Give it a nice pop and have a wash your hands. And finish up the design here for this set. Finish. Good buff. Clean up on the excess. So you don't buff the corners. So you don't want to lose any of the corner shape. Now we have to buff because we did the hand filing. So we're leaving little ridges and stuff in there. That guys, wow! Ain't that beautiful? Nice structure, good canvas for our art. Can't really complain. These are the um, 3XL coffin straight tips. I just cut them down shorter. Um, you guys notice the C curve? All right, wash your hands. Ooh yeah. Clean up a little bit for the design here. Thank you, Edgar. I asked you last live, does soap bother the gel? It does. Um, it depends if the client can rinse their hands off and get rid of the excess oils. Um, it, you know how clients will just put soap on and they'll just like, eh, and then it just has like oily spots and stuff like that. It causes the, the um, gel to kind of shrink sometimes and that's the issue so this rinse is best and if you have if then use soap just use alcohol clean it or, or acetone clean it afterwards to dry it out or a slight buff with a 100 100 buffer 100 100 buffer is actually really good uh 100 180 buffer just buff it uh, lightly and then you can polish whatever you need to do and then put cube oil on them at the end the buffing will remove any oil excess okay so I'm gonna do Pennywise nails. So of course I have to start out with that fool's face. Pennywise's face. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna use my liner brush for this one. Of that? Maybe. Depending on well, maybe I just use for my. Uh, yeah. I'm a red. I gotta get red gel art paint, black. I'm probably gonna paint one of the nails black to do the red it. Or do you want to do red it on top of white? The red balloon. The red balloon. And the white, you don't want any black at all? So you got some of these. Let's go with. Oh. 
You see how these ones are like black? Yeah. Kind of has, has an offset. Mm -hmm. So we'll paint one black. So we'll do the two middle fingers, the face. And then we'll do. Yeah, this, I think we'll do this one, the black theme one. Actually, before I do this, I'm gonna paint a matte top coat, give it a nice smooth surface when I do the art. Just gives it a smoother surface because I'm gonna have to do a lot of shading. And when you have a nice matte top coat, the shading is a little bit easier. Go ahead. So these two ring fingers, I'm gonna put the half face for Pennywise. So I'm gonna definitely gonna. Mess up my eyes a little bit. It's okay. That's why we have paint here. Just wipe it and start over again.
Oop, I'm on a battery. All right, guys. Good old black and white Pennywise. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. Cool. A bit of shading in his eyebrows. Give him some cheekbones, you know. Contours and stuff. There's a lot of different type of Pennywise you can do. This is the black and white version of him. I think this is like maybe, is this the older version? No, it's the new one. You this is this is the new yellow. one, huh? Are you gonna make his eyes yellow? The eyes, yeah, in the side. Yeah. I have to cure it first though, or the yellow. Will, okay. I have to cure it first, or the yellow will bleed into the. She's been waiting for a whole year, guys. black and white. The other one's the other one. But he does have a little pupil. There we go. And of course, replicate on the other side. <laughs> Actually, let me do one hand full design and then I'll do the other. I'll do the other hand offline. It'll be easier. This is the final. Then we'll do the um, hit in white and red. Of course you want the balloon like that, right? Why wouldn't you? I'll do it on the other hand. Okay. There'll be it in this hand and the balloon over here.
it's gonna look, it's gonna look gnarly. on your skin. Okay. This will just do hot drinks. Sorry guys, I get really quiet when I do art, so excuse me if I don't speak during this part. Okay.
text or I have to paint black or I have to leave white. float too. leave out the infamous lover v loser hold on put that a little bit wrong there mm -hmm. the two o's off Mm. 
I know I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it inside the balloon. Go to two. This would be the lover v loser. Yeah, I think it's just lover. A little bit off. I like it. No, I'm not fixing no. a little bit. It's, it's just a tiny bit off. I need to be more diagonal. I'm not gonna do it unless I, I like it. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll take me, it's a quick fix. As long as it's not here. And then spend a couple hours on the set to have one small detail I don't like. <laughs> that's my, that's my thing guys. It's one detail I don't like, I, I'm gonna fix it. Here. I think the only thing I do I think left in this looks good. Just leave the white? Yeah. Kind of plain or anything? I don't know. What do you think? Black? Yeah, I think I'll paint it black. Black? Make the black pop out. Finish up the lovely loser and do the rest of the blood drips over there. Finger in the thumb and we're good to go.
Oh my god, I forgot we're still doing live. <laughs> Sometimes I, when I do the art, guys, I totally forget I'm still live. I'm sorry, I just realized people are still watching. Oh. Yes, this is what you get to go through. Do those big hand painted art sets you see. It ain't easy. But it's worth it though. At the end of the day, when it looks good and you know you did it by hand. You guys enjoy it. I know it's not perfect, but hey, I think it's pretty gnarly for the first set of the season. Won't be my last it set after I posted this. I you guys appreciate the work and time and effort it goes into this. That's why the clients that pay more money for hand painted art, right? Are there stickers for this stuff? I don't think so. I, I just don't think the stickers look look good though. When you do the set and, you, and they want the stick the sticker version, I've seen it. I don't think it's, it looks as good as you do it hand hand drawn. It's just something about hand drawn just shows that you put some time effort into it. it differentiates you from everything else. not fun but yay we're done I'm just gonna find my black polish paint that one nail black I don't think I The black just ties in the whole set. We need a black nail tie. Mm -hmm. There we go. These are my gel art paints, so I'll just need a very thin layer. Cure it really nicely. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna matte tackle this using my mat. Actually, I might add a little bit of detail to this. Nah, too much. I 
happy with the way it is. Move that top coat and then we'll finish it off here. your first Halloween set, Lindy, of the season. Okay. Jesus. I think you were asking for this during Christmas. Probably. Halloween is the best time to do matted nails, guys. Everything Halloween is matted, looks so nice. Halloween set. Hey, it didn't turn out too bad. First set of the season. I didn't even get a chance to practice this, but yeah, I like it. Not too shabby. Just winging it today. like Amanda, but she's gonna have to get shiny, so I'm gonna shine it after I take my pictures. <laughs> take it out. Actually, the, the combination actually really it goes really well together. Look at that, guys. I guess appreciate you joining me. You can see how the work it goes into between one of the sets like this. The artwork probably took, some, took me longer than doing the set itself, actually. <laughs> but hey, um, first set of the season. I'll probably recreate this a few times before the season ends. Thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate all the, you know, support, obviously. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Have a good day.